Excuse me. All right. My next three episodes of Short Lived are going to be focusing on pilots or backdoor pilots that didn't go anywhere. We're starting out with this one. Aquaman pilot that was originally supposed to air in 2006. Now, <clears throat> at the time, there was an Aquaman on Smallville. He showed up one episode in 2005, and they decided to make a show out of that. Only, they didn't use Alan Richardson, who played the Aquaman, or AC, Arthur Curry, on Smallville. Instead, they got Justin Hartley, who would go on to play Oliver Queen, the Green Arrow, on Smallville. In fact, there's quite a few actors who are also on Smallville. Adrian Palicki, who plays the uh, Siren. She was fake Kara in the season three finale of Smallville. Uh, De Denise Quijones was on in the, ve the episode entitled Vengeance in season five. Uh, I don't know the actor's name, but he's in this, and he was in the episode of season one, which I don't think I've reviewed yet, where he and an old friend of his, these, there are, he's a meteor freak, where if he touches your hand, he can make you do whatever he wants. He's in this. And I think that's it that I can remember that's been a small deal. But yeah, it's just, you know, together. You could tell they were trying to follow the template of Smallville. We get the first scene is an origin where Arthur and his mom are on a plane. They're talking on the radio to his dad. And they fly into the Bermuda Triangle. They get all caught up. They crash into the ocean. And the siren comes after them. The mother gives Arthur a necklace, calls him Orin, and tells him to swim away. He does, and the mother gets in a fight with, <clears throat> uh, with the siren. And uh, Arthur AC is saved by a whale. Now, it, watching this nowadays, when we have the Aquaman movie, it's easy to compare it. The origin story we got in the Aquaman movie was a little bit better. Like the whole uh, fight at the lighthouse and all the father knew where the mother came from. Whereas in this version, he doesn't. Uh, and the father, AC's dad, is Lou Diamond Phillips. Random name there, but yeah. Um, and... I also like that the Smallville and everything they call they you know he calls himself AC. I like that, you know. In because <coughs> in Aquaman movie, I didn't like that they they, they kept yelling out Arthur, Arthur. I'm like I'm expecting a cartoon ant eater to show up with a bunny named Buster. That's when I what I think of when I hear Arthur. To me. Aquaman's name is AC. That's what I was used to with Smallville. They even call him AC in this. So, yeah. Um, and he he like he works at a bar, which he co-runs with a friend of his who dies in this. I don't know if she's actually going to be a regular or if they were going to try to bring her back. The thing is, this pilot was never sold. And we'll, we'll get that in. But... Uh, <clears throat> So, you know, I, <coughs> I hate coughing on camera, but this cold won't freaking go away. No, it's not the coronavirus. I've had this cold before the coronavirus even came into in, in, in the United States, so it's fine. So, <coughs> uh, Where was I? So, he, like I said, we're going to this bar. Uh, he gets arrested for saving dolphins. Which, to me, that's not a crime. You're saving dolphins. And then he goes back to work. He, his wardrobe in this, he changes from green shirt and orange shorts to wearing an orange shirt and green shorts. Because Aquaman. I'm just saying, like... Clark Kent wears a 
a, you know, a blue jeans, blue t-shirt, and a red jacket. Because Superman. Or some amalgamation of blue, red, and yellow at some point during the show. Uh, <coughs> got Smallville. <coughs> this one doesn't seem to be connected to Smallville in any way other than having that same kind of format like I mentioned. He meets McCaffrey, played by Ving Rhames, another random actor in this, who seems to know a lot more than he's letting on. He orders one drink, and then he says, keep the change, and leaves. And one night, we're trying to have Hank Pinky with this girl. He finds out she's a siren and is trying to kill him. McCaffrey comes to rescue him, and uh, at the... But, uh, you know, he gets away, and he tells his friend or whatever, she gets killed by the siren, and then, uh, and he is once again rescued by McCaffrey, or I think maybe he wasn't rescued the first time, but she was nuts on him or something, I don't know. <coughs> All I know is, uh... At one point, she, her friend, his friend dies, and he goes with McCaffrey. McCaffrey starts to tell him all this stuff. He's from Atlantis. He start, he makes comments about the bubble, and about the Little Mermaid and stuff like that. Early two thousands writing, am I right? Uh, but they did end up defeating the um, siren. It says that won't be the end, they'll send more. And he gives him a book and he tells him to read because that's part of his training. And the it plays out to early two thousands, mid two thousands music that you hear in Smallville. But there is a side story to this, like I said with that guy from the season one episode of Smallville, different character of course. Um it has to do with the Air Force and how they're finding people washing up. Like they find this guy, and he's an Atlantean, but he he's well he washed up on shore, and he's actually a, a Air Force pilot that went missing years ago in the Bermuda Triangle. And if I remember correctly, <coughs> this pilot that uh, they attached with this mission, she's one of them. Like her picture's on there or something. Remember correctly, but yeah, it's it never goes anywhere. I would like to see. I would like to have seen where they went with this, but it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, the pilot wasn't sold because at the time they were trying to get this to the to the WB at the time, they were in the process of coming together with UPN to form the CW, which is what it is now. Once they become the CW, they said it's like that that Drake meme where he's like, mm -mm -mm -mm. so it's like. Uh, Aquaman, mm -mm. uh, what came out in 2006 as well, uh, how about this, new show Aquaman, mm -mm. same old shit with Charm, Supernatural, and, or er, Charm, Smallville, and Seven Heaven, that's what it was, because that's what we got, really, is that they, uh, well, Supernatural was still in the process, like, it was renewed, so I'm not counting that, but like, uh, instead of having a new show, Aquaman, they brought in more seasons of Seventh Heaven, Smallville, and Charmed. They're longer running series. Because, like, I think they actually forced the last season of Charmed, if I remember correctly, because season seven kind of wraps up neatly with a bow. And then once season eight starts, it's a big clusterfuck of just everything pushed together. And they have to, because they have to go off the narrative. Spoiler alert for Charmed, by the way. That's that season seven of Charmed ends with the sisters faking their deaths, assuming new identities, and going off to live a happy life. But no, Network wanted one more season, so we got an eighth season, and now we have to actually figure out how we're going to go from living in different uh, identities to getting back our identities, and that takes up like a third of the season. Just that. I'm just saying. Sometimes networks aren't always right. I'm just saying, this could have been something different, you know. 
Um, and, but, if we, if this was Greenland, maybe we would never had, uh, you know, Justin Hartley's Green Arrow on Smallville, which undoubtedly paved the way for Stephen Amell's Arrow to show up. Because it was, remember correctly, it was, uh, they wanted to do a spinoff with the Green Arrow from Smallville, but Justin Hartley couldn't do it because he was on some soap opera or something at the time, All My Children or whatever it was. He was is busy, so they decided to just reboot the whole thing. And we got Arrow, which at first I was like, ah, I wanted the other one, but now series is done. You know, it's pretty good. Uh... It's my second favorite of the third. I don't know. That just goes back and forth sometimes. Sometimes it was like it's something like oh, Arrow. Season seven of Arrow really got me kind of like the the and stuff. And after that it was kind of you know flash forward stuff had me going, but maybe it's three. I don't know. Um, but anyway, my rating is a for this. We'll give it a C. It's decent, and I would have liked to have seen where it went from here. Up next, we're going to be talking about the unsold backdoor pilots for Supernatural spinoff series, starting with Supernatural Bloodlines. Look forward to that one.